然嘅第十四條 MC 咧，非常之直接啦，就係、是、問翻我哋 PQRS 邊個結構咧係負責運送水分嘅。咁啊睇翻 PQRS 啦，咁啊頭先咧嗰兩條我冇特別講嘅，今次又要提翻大家啦。見到啲圖像，見到有結構，梗係有翻好習慣寫翻個名先啦。木質部啦，水啦，韌皮部啦，同埋皮塵嘅。咁呢條題目啦，正正就係考翻唔同結構嘅功能啫嘛。今次講嘅係運送水分。咁答案都唔使審啦，就係、是、木質部啦，所以答案呢就係 A 啦。咁啊 ，QRS 咧有少少睇精神搞掂埋佢啦。咁啊喺 Q 同埋 S 呢，分別就係水同埋皮層啦，佢哋都係一啲薄壁細胞，擺得好密質質嘅，緊密排列，透過吸水提供硬脹度，從而支撐棵植物嘅。然後去到 S 呢，就係、是、韌皮部，就係、是、主要負責運送有機嘅養分啦，例如蔗糖啦、氨基酸啦，之如此類咯。咁過往呢，都有唔少題目啦，講返啊葉嘅支撐啊、葉嘅適應啊，因為啦喺根茎葉呢，個維管束都係一而貫之咁串通上去嘅。咁今次呢條題目就考個勁啫，下次考根，下次考葉得唔得？絕對可以咯。Two to three MC question fourteen is a very straightforward question. It asks us that which of the labeled tissues P Q R S is responsible for transport of water. Surely, I have not yet mentioned in the previous two questions, but this time I have to remind you. Once you see the diagram with the labels P Q R S A B C whatever, do the labeling first. Silent vessel, pith. Foreign vessels and cortex, and this question it asks us to recall the function of various parts in the plants. So for this very straightforward question, answer is A. Xylem is responsible for transporting water and minerals in the plants. So what about other structure for Q and S, pith and cortex? They are the fin wall cell, crossy plaque, and when they absorb water, they gain the Turgidity and provide the mechanical support. And for the tissue R, it is the phloem responsible for transporting organic nutrients in the plants. For example, the sucrose and the amino acid. So in the previous years, we have the certain question about the support for the leaf, for the leaf size, for the leaf adaptation, and you need to know that for the root stem leaf, we can find the vascular bundle inside them, and for this time, it asks us the stem. Next time, asks us the root, and next next time, asks us the leaf. Is it okay? Absolutely okay.